strange Cause the squirrel's getting so deranged I'm with my homies, yeah I'm with my homies, yeah Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan, joined by my partners, Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. The crowd here in anticipation of their home team Cavaliers in an interconference battle here at the Quicken Loans Arena. And they're starting off this season against this Houston Rockets team. They lost both of the matchups in this interconference battle a season ago. They'd like to change that now. Yeah, and last year it didn't matter whether it was on the home or on the road. They failed to take a game from either of the two meetings. Yeah, and you know, they weren't used to seeing a team and not getting at least one win off of them last year, and that's what they're looking for now. Time loss. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Then it's Jones. Then it's Lawson. And it's Capella in at the five. And the Rockets have lost out on some free agent wars the past few years. They have remained competitive, but you wonder what could have been if they landed or kept some of those big names. Now here is Smith. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. From deep Harden. An absolute bomb from three-point range. It's been a slow start here for Cleveland. It's a five-point game. And here's LeBron outside. The Cavaliers again can't hit. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. For three, Lawson misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And James throws it down. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. Unloads. And it's Capella missing. I tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. And the jam by J.R. Smith. Boy, the pass there floated up to the precise spot where it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish, huh? He, he powers it through. Sure didn't waste any time there. And, guys, that's an alley-oop I guarantee you will be seeing on the highlight reels for the next few days. And the shot is good. Harden's got five now. Looked like he was trying to go for a degree of difficulty points on that shot. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop chop there with that one hand tomahawk slam? Now, here is Lawson. Five to shoot. Ariza goes in. Good D by Love. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Knocks it loose. And it's the Rockets on the break. And it's slammed in by Ariza. And with that speed, once he took off, the D just had no chance of getting back. Well, I think they did the right thing. I mean, just give up the two points and move forward. Hey, discretion is the better part of valor sometimes. Write that one down, game players. Discretion is the better part of valor. Harden with it. Williams picks him up. The three from Harden. Rebound love. <laughs> The Hall of Famer and three-time champion Kevin McHale, the Rockets coach, did nothing but find success and win as a player. And, you know, that's been the same song for him as a coach. And for Coach Kevin McHale, last year was his best. A lot of people thought he could have been easily the coach of the year, leading the Rockets to their third best regular season in franchise history. And, and, and Kevin with McHale, he's got this team improving every year. His team's win totals have risen as well statistically as, as I think becoming a better team. Wins aren't always necessarily what determines how good you are. 
Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Anderson Verizhaus checked in for Mozgov. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for James. And it's Matthew Dellavedova in for Williams. You know, he's not your typical NBA center in terms of height, guys, but he plays as big as any of them, thanks to his incredible bounceability. Now, here is Smith. And it goes out of bounds. That one is off Smith. Kevin, I've got a chance now to look at where the Cavaliers ranked in the NBA last season. Fifth in three-point shooting. Eighth in scoring. And they were a top ten team in field goal shooting. Pretty impressive. And, and talking about their three-point percentage, really a hallmark, I think, of successful offenses in today's NBA. And they use that shot to a devastating effect all season long. Here's Beverly. A three-pointer off the mark. Cleveland's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. They get it again. Verizhao dishes to Delavidova. Count that one. Delavidova's got his first basket. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> and this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Fellas, that two-hand monster slams with fish. <laughs> I don't think there was anyone, and I mean anyone, that could have stopped him on that one. I tell you what, I'm glad they didn't try, because somebody might have got their feelings hurt. Harden gets the bucket. And how about that, responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Terrific little tay to tay going on right now. Back and forth, here we go. And that concludes a back-and-forth high-scoring first quarter of play. And off we go, a close game, now starting the second quarter. And guys, for the Rockets, what jumps out to you from a number standpoint? It's just been a long-range battle for them, and, and one that they're winning right now. Yeah, sharp shooting from deep, a big part of why they're up. Cavs were one of the top teams in the East last year, and it was in large part to how strong they were at home. Boy, did they shoot it well from beyond the arc at home, Kevin. I mean, top three in the league in terms of three-point shooting. It does help to have LeBron. It? it does. That, that, <laughs> that is effective. King James with the dunk. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, LeBron and Love are the talented pair at the forward position. Smith is out there with Williams. And it's Mozgov in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And, you know, for the Cavs at home, they ended with 31 wins there. Um, second best record in the East in that regard. A lot of those wins actually came after the All-Star break. And how about the Cavs last season? 18 straight home wins for the third longest home win streak in their history. And that home winning streak helped them jump from the middle of the playoff pack to the two seed. Jason Terry, he's checked in for Corey Brewer. Williams again, Lawson kicks it to Terry. And stolen by James. Here's Williams. Shot is off. Lawson with the defensive effort there. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Terry. And the shot no good, a bit short. And, and even though he missed that, you, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier than that. Now Maniunas. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Terry outside. Just five to shoot. And the rejection by Love. And he recovers it. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. KJ McDaniels, he's checked in for Monty Unis. Cavaliers trailing. LeBron outside. Releases. And another miss by Cleveland. 
Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Terry in the corner. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. Jesus, Terry. Lawson's got three assists tonight. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. From deep, James. Another miss by LeBron. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Lawson kicks to Jones. And another three for Houston. Great outside shooting fueling this run. And the D is getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down the least bit. Smith for three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Mark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Houston. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Anderson Verajaus checked in for Mozgov. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for Smith. And it's Matthew Dellavedova in for Williams. And guys, the first year for David Blatt, he was second-guessed at every turn. And that happens when you are picked to make the finals, but also when you coach LeBron James. James kicks to Thompson. And out of bounds is the run. Rockets gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Harden outside. This is the Beverly. Harden sets the pick for Beverly. Back to Harden. The lead pushed to double digits. Harden's got 12 in the game. And for Black, Greg, everyone did wonder if he would be the right fit early as the season wore on and the Cavs got tougher. Those questions, Clark, went away. Yeah, and I think most people forget that he's an iconic coaching legend overseas. Good I point, mean, yeah. so coaching is coaching. Sure, it's not the NBA, but this guy brought a pedigree and resume that was quite substantial. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Cavs were poised to make a huge run last year in the playoffs, swept the Celtics in the first round, but it cost them. Yeah, and even though they did get that sweep, they lose Kevin Love for the rest of the way, and that put a big hurdle in their quest for the title. A different look now for Cleveland. Kevin Love's checked in for Matthew Dellavedova, and J.R. Smith's subbed in for Jefferson. And a switch here also for Houston. Brewers checked in. The drive by James. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. No denying it. Injuries were a big part of the storyline in the Cavs postseason. Fortunately, LeBron James was otherworldly after the first round. Took care of the Bulls, then went on to sweep the Hawks to get back to the finals. And for the Cavs the last season, their toughest test would be in the finals against the Warriors. Like every other team, they just couldn't handle the Warriors for a full series. A great run to the finals, and surely they'll want to return there this season. That's good. The Houston lead is cut down to six on the bucket from Smith. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. James, the pass to Smith. He feeds it to Thompson. And Capella sends it back. And it's the Rockets on the break. It's stolen by Smith. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. Near the three-point line, it's Love. And that misses everything. And so that's the end.